Welcome back everybody. This video we're going to check out the modular vehicles, figure out what in the hell it takes to modify your car once you've acquired a car that hasn't disappeared or fallen through the map or crashed the server because that's definitely a thing. So to start with, all the armor on the car, the hood, the doors, the tires, the bumpers, the tailgates and tailgate armor, and the motor and the battery. Those are all things that you can interact with on the car. It's pretty cool when it works. All right, so we've got here what is totally not a Volkswagen Rabbit or Jetta or Golf. This is a Wolfswagen. So you got your car. You want to, let's say you want to take your armor off. You're trying to add some armor to it. You notice there's there's no there's no action, right? You check out the menu. There's You're like, well, what the hell do I do? The first thing you need is a vehicle repair kit. So you acquire a vehicle repair kit, and now... You notice you got the kit. It can be in your hand. It could be uh, in your inventory. There was in our hand. Now it's just laying on the ground. We're going to pick it up and put it in our inventory. So we're good. We've got a vehicle repair kit. So we can do some basic things here. You notice we can remove the armor. We can remove the bumper. We can even remove the hood. However, we can't remove the tires. We'll get to the tires. So let's start with our armor. Uh, as long as you have your vehicle repair kit, you can add or remove your armor. So let's take off our door armor. Pump, there we go. Drop this sucker on the ground. Move this back armor. Drop it here. It all pretty much works the same. Apparently we can take the bumper off without needing a jack or anything. Going on here. There we go. Okay, let's get this. Uh, oh, there we go. Trunk armor. If you don't get the tool tip, just... Try a different spot. Seems to be a little picky. Let's go ahead and take this back bumper off. Ah, oh, we don't want to forget this windshield armor. Let's go ahead and take this off. All right. A nice, clean-looking car. Let's take this back bumper off. Why we're playing with the bumpers, I don't know. There we go. All right. What else can we do? Now, before we go any further, we've taken the bumpers off. We've taken the armor off. Notice our vehicle repair kit has only got two units left in it. It takes two units off of your vehicle repair kits every time you interact with the armor or bumpers on your vehicle. Imagine the same as for the hood. So if we take this hood off, our tool will be depleted. Taking our hood off and notice we have no tool anymore. So it seems pretty much every interaction is two points off of your vehicle repair kit. Okay, we've got us a new vehicle repair kit. Got 20 charges left in it. Let's see what else we can do before we have to get out of jack. And so let's go ahead and uh, take off the doors. Cool. Car's not up on a jack yet, right? We're just we're just taking components off. And notice two points again have come off of our tool. Let's remove this door. Okay. Let's take the door off. And then we'll take this door off. Now, if you notice the names on these components, they are very specific, right? So we have door back right, door front right, door front left, door back left, back bumper, bumper armor back. So these, you can't say interchange, you can't just loot a door and put it on any four of your slots. It takes that specific door. Or component for your car. All right, we still can't take the tires off the car. Imagine you need a jack for that. I uh, do believe we can take the battery out. That doesn't require a jack. Condition of our battery is still looking good. Got nothing else going on in here, right? What about the back? Take that trunk off. Okay, well, let's take these seats out of here, right? Can we take the seats out? We still have tool. We've got eight left, so we should be able to take all four seats out. Something to keep in mind, you don't want to get stuck with no points left in your tool. Imagine the frustration you take your battery out of the car and you're going to try to put a new battery in and you used your last bit of points off of your tool to take the battery out. Always make sure you have enough points left in your tool to do what you're trying to do. We'll take this out here and again, seat back left. It's very specific for the parts. You can't interchange the front seats, uh, you can only 
use the seats that belong in that specific position. So through that, let's go grab our, this is our front right seat. And notice we can install front right, but we can't, we can't, uh, we can't put it in the front left. There we go. All right. Got us a new tool. We've still got two seats to take out. Let's take that sucker out of there. And then we'll come over here, grab our other back seat, pull it out. Okay. Anything else we can take out of there? Play with the steering column, anything? Not a damn thing. That's all you can do without the jack. That's a lot. Uh, you can still push the car. Right? Uh, you still can't back up. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Let's figure out how to take these wheels off. You're going to need a car jack. Because obviously you got to jack the car up to get the wheels. So let's go find a car jack. Got us a car jack. So let's see what we got to do here. Pretty much anywhere on the car, you just select it and choose service vehicle on car jack. And look at that. Not only does it lift the car up, but it highlights all the components on the car that are interactable or modular. So we still got points in our tool. So we're going to take this wheel off. Pretty cool. Again, notice this wheel is just wheel, so we could put this tire anywhere. The tire is not specific like the doors or the seats or the armor. We could put that sucker anywhere. So let's go ahead and take this wheel off. Well, let's set this wheel down here. Now we've got our wheels. Well, we could either end the service on the vehicle and then pick up our jack and go to the other side and then service the vehicle. Take our wheel off, take this wheel off. I do like the shortcut of being able to just tap the button, but it's not very consistent. All right, well now our car is looking pretty pathetic. Uh, let's take it off the jack, select our jack. Can we jack it up from the front and do just a front tire? Nope. Cannot service the vehicle from the front or rear. So it's always one side or the other. Would be nice if you could just lift up the front or the back and do front tires or rear tires. That'd be really cool, but apparently you can't do that. All right, so what's next here? We still got some points left on our tool. I guess all we can do here is uh, put it back together, right? So our car is in pieces. Or maybe you found a car out in the wild that's just completely disassembled but it has a motor and you're ready to go. So let's let's throw this sucker back up on the jack. Oh, okay. All right, let's get the sucker back together. Grab our tire, throw the tire on, throw the tire on. Now, can we grab this tire and put it on without lifting the car up? That is kind of nice. Notice we're out of tools. Son of a beach. Now, let's uh let's throw our seats back in there before we fit, right? install okay let's throw our doors on there that is a door the the blue highlighted areas for the, all the modular components it really makes it easy throw a bumper back on there front bumper suppose we should put the battery back in right throw the battery in let's go throw our trunk on just target the blue component and you're good to go let's throw a hood on hopefully this hood provides some armor from uh, your motor getting torn up now notice you can throw the armor on. But we're gonna we're gonna check that out. We're gonna do that off of the jack. It is handy though that it, it highlights all the areas. Okay, so we got everything but our passenger side components. Uh, let's let's end the service and see what we're looking at. Take our jack. All right. So can we drive around like that? Hell yes, we can. There we go. All right, man. We could drive around, do all kinds of fun things. All right. So notice 
that you've only got two seats and when you got in the car notice it's telling you can't switch to the back seats because they remove the ability to move from the front or the back to the back or the front it's telling me that i could switch to the other seat but there's no seat there right so we can't do that that's no good that's no good get these seats back in here okay let's throw these seats back here Boom, got our seat. Let's grab our seat. Throw it in there. Grab our door. Let's throw the door on here. Install the door. Grab our front door. Go, install the door. Hot dog, man. We are set to go. All we got left is the armor. Grab the door. Install the armor. You have the car up on a jack. It's a little bit easier because you can just grab uh, the component and highlight the section instead of having to press and hold and select your, your action. Okay, we've got us a new tool. Let's throw armor on there. We're good to go, man. Let's end the service. Be sure to pick your jack up. Don't forget and drive away without it. That would suck. Okay, now we are going to have to go to the nearest safe zone and figure out how to deal with the motor. One thing to take note here, in the current version of the game, as of December 5th, your vehicles really don't take any damage. You keep that in mind when running around, you don't have to worry about bumping into trees or falling off of cliffs or all kinds of crazy things. They just don't seem to take any damage. They've got horrible traction, they don't steer very well, and they just don't take damage. I don't know if they have a plan for what's going on here, but. You can, you can drive around without worrying about blowing your car up. However, they get stuck really, really easily. Case in point, normally you'd be able to get out and just push your car to unstick the dang thing. But let's see what happens. Let's get out of our car. Well, so what do you do? We push it. Uh, that would be a negative. So basically, if your car gets stuck, you're screwed. Go find you a new car, put it back together. Now that you know how to assemble the car, you can put a new car together and just treat it as if it were permanent storage until it glitches through the map or just randomly disappears or causes a server crash. All right, so you found a new car put it all together you got all your armor things to look out for as soon as you get in the vehicle it starts rolling whether you're ready to go or not so be ready for that to happen the cars don't stop very well they seem to continuously slide as you see here not very steep slope but we're just sliding down the hill uh, another thing we've noticed is cars don't have very good traction it's struggling to get up this tiny little hill Whereas the other cars didn't really struggle to get up some much steeper hills. We found a couple towns around the map where you just can't get up the road to get out of the town. It's pretty bad. And we're trying to stop the car, but we can't stop it from sliding. So your best bet when the car starts sliding, try to go sideways, you know, uh, try to get perpendicular to the direction you're sliding. And it's pretty bad right now. If you get lucky enough to get a car that hasn't crashed the server, chances of keeping that car are pretty slim. All right, another thing to point out, while you're driving around, as we head over to the safe zone, without any driving skill at all, I'm able to go what seems like max speed. You know, the other vehicles, your top speed seem to be limited by your driving skill. The car doesn't seem to stall hardly at all, and I'm certainly not restricted by my driving skill as far as how fast I can go. So, before we get to the safe zone, sure we've all wondered, how well does the armor do on the cars? Since we can't run zombies over anymore, let's go see what happens when our buddies try to eat our face through the armor on the car. Alright, I am taking no damage here. It's pretty cool. Armor seems to be doing really good. All right. 
Hey, what about a mech? How well protected are we from a mech? Hello, Mr. Robots. Let's go see. Hey there, buddy. Alright, car's taking a little bit of damage. Seems they can still hit us through the window. <laughs> the cards have pretty decent armor. Just got to worry about getting shot through the car by the mech. What if we drive around a little bit? Is it, is it harder for him to kill us? Is it making it through the holes? We're holding out pretty good here. Car's taking some damage. I'm not bleeding yet. There we go. All right, I mean, that works pretty good. Okay, so you got your car, you got some money, you head to the safe zone. Let's figure out what's going on here. There's a couple things we can do here at the safe zone. What I think is a really nice feature is that if you steal a car from your neighbors, your friend, your wife, brother, sister, whoever, uh, you could come in here and you could sell the car. That's beautiful. Just select the car. You pull it in there on the jacks, select it, go to the sell tab. There it is. 15,000 for really, really good vehicle, right? You got your car. You're not going to sell this one. You decide you want to do some work to this one, but you don't have a jack. You should have the option here to service vehicle on car lift. And voila, there we go. Okay, we got the car up on the on the lift, and we're ready to do some work. Notice we don't have a vehicle repair kit. We have the option to take the wheels off or the doors and the armor, but notice it's going to cost us some monies. By the way, I don't know what currency we use in this game. Let me know in the comments. Maybe, maybe you know what the hell currency this is. I don't know what it is. I just call it monies. So I've got money in my pocket i've got no money in my bank actually i'm in the negative so let's see if we can use cash so i'm going to um well there you go preferred method of payment cash or cards we say cash let's take that wheel off bam that's pretty nice so if you don't have a vehicle repair kit you could come do some work on your vehicle if a vehicle repair kit is only fifteen hundred dollars it may be cheaper just to buy a repair kit or two I don't know. I'll leave that up to you. But you can pretty much do everything here. Oh, you could sell the parts off of there. Whatever. Let's get rid of this hood. Boom. Okay. All right. We sold our hood. We got our battery right there. I'm not seeing an option to pull the motor out of the car. Um, I myself haven't come across a motor in the game yet. I noticed the vendor does not have motors. No motors in his in his store. We got toolboxes. We got jacks. We got repair kits. We have no motors. There's no motors in here. Um, there's the cars in there. Here we go. Well, there's an alternator. I don't see a motor. There's a wheel armor. Oh, that's pretty cool. That'd be nice to have. I just do not see motor. There's an alternator. Interesting. Heavy armor top. Okay. Well, I don't see where this motor is supposed to go. I don't see where the alternator. Oh, there we go. We can. We can change out the alternator. Okay. Move the alternator. Um, perhaps we got to take the alternator out to be able to take the motor out. Oh, maybe that's just not a thing yet. I don't know. Perhaps that's coming after they figure out how to keep the cars from crashing the servers. Uh, let's, let's throw that alternator back in there. Yep, I don't see a way to get the motor out of the car, and I don't see a motor on his store, so I don't think the motor's... So there we have it. We have uh, disassembled, reassembled, repaired, done all kinds of fun things to the car. Let's go ahead and end the service. Hi there. And let's go take it out for a drive. All right, there you have it, guys. That is how to take your car apart, put it back together. And get it stuck and blown up and all those fabulous things. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, check out our other videos. We'll see you in the next live stream. See ya.